Meet Arnab Goswami. Prove your facts right now. No, prove it now. Prove it now. I, I, prove it now. Right now. No, you prove it now. Prove it now, Ganchak. One of India's most influential yet controversial TV news anchors. Goswami hosts primetime debates backed by dramatic soundtracks and sensational visual effects. This is the only news. He's known for screaming at his guests. To keep interrupting like that, I've run out of patience with you. And browbeating his opponents with emotional nationalism. You are more dangerous to this country than Mao is terrorist. His loud journalism contributes to the country's majoritarian outlook, which is being shaped by the ruling Hindu nationalist BJP. Goswami often makes wild pronouncements like India should wage a war against Pakistan and even randomly bursts into laughter on air. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Sometimes his guests fire back. For several years, his former primetime show The News Hour attracted the largest viewership in India. And many other journalists have started to imitate his style. Are you a traitor? We will question you also, Mr. Gauhar Gilani. And a coward like Yasin Malik. Please you are exposed me. and you are out. Earlier this year, Goswami emerged on a new platform Please called the Republic TV, out. which is mostly funded by a politician of the ruling BJP. The Republic is accused of being the party's mouthpiece, and Goswami's views on national issues align with the BJP's. Take the example of the Rohingya refugees in India. The BJP government describes them as a security threat and plans to deport them back to Myanmar. And even though the United Nations criticized India for being hostile toward the Rohingyas, journalists like Goswami are unmoved. Are we the only dumping ground of the world? Why don't these Rohingyas go to Norway or to Sweden or to Switzerland? Goswami supports the government's expulsion plans and has accused the persecuted minority of being linked to Daesh. Is your heart bleeding for the Rohingyas because Rohingyas have a connection with ISIS? Several news channels have followed his bait. His views on other issues are equally contentious. Instead of speaking truth to power, Goswami and his ilk seem to be speaking for just power. Yeah, I take sides for the country. 